The race in the 4th District of Kansas is shaping up to be one of the most exciting in the entire country, with several candidates vying to represent the Republican Party. We are all Republicans in this race, but with our share of differences. The platform I am promising to promote is actually quite different, because I believe we must return to our conservative roots, the principles of our founding fathers. I am a Reagan conservative, a constitutional conservative. My fellow citizens, you have to decide whether you want to elect more of the same. More big party chosen candidates who serve on RNC committees and are handpicked by the big party bosses to serve big party loyalists. Moderate conservatives who consistently vote along liberal lines. Millionaires who have expressed publicly that money is how elections are won. And career politicians, lawyers, lobbyists, who are unwilling to move a real conservative agenda in Congress. A vote for me, Jim Anderson, gives you that choice. A simple platform of real Americanism. I am a conservative, not handcuffed to big party or lobbying groups who believes in true conservative principles. I am the only candidate to publicly support term limits and put an end to career politicians. I am the only recognized con constitutional conservative who vows to protect and uphold the foundation and principles of this country. I am a retired airline pilot, a small business owner, not a lawyer, not a career politician, or someone who is trying to buy the office. I know the needs of business owners and the keys to growing the economy and creating jobs, which starts with getting our government out of the way. I believe in the fair tax, free trade, with less red tape, lower deficits, traditional family values, and most importantly, returning the power to the states and its citizens. You know, Einstein said that the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over again, but expecting different results. The time has come to make a different choice and put the government back in the hands of the people. Ladies and gentlemen, once the smokescreen and Washington Double Talk is removed, it becomes very clear this is really a race about supporting a candidate of the people, for the people, or supporting more of the same. I promise to carry on the traditions of real conservatives like Jefferson, Lincoln, Reagan, and welcome Republicans, independents, libertarians, conservative Democrats, and any other group who is ready to reverse the direction of our country and get back to the fundamentals that make our country great. From day one, I vowed to be a representative not another politician. And with my support of term limits, I am the only candidate who has taken the much needed step in proving where my loyalty lies. My allegiance is to you and the Constitution, ladies and gentlemen, and nobody else. Ask yourself this question. Why would a candidate not be willing to sign it? Our campaign has made this a major issue, and the other candidates have had sufficient time to take that pledge as well, but they have not. If they do now, it is only to try and save face, but clearly they have already made their choice. As your representative, I will not need to do polling in order to make the right decision. I will not need to hold my finger to the wind to determine which direction the populist political winds are blowing. All I need, ladies and gentlemen, is this, the Constitution and my conservative pro-American, pro-entrepreneurial principles. The way I see it, the desk, the chair, and the office in Washington, D.C. belong to the people of this district. I am merely the one carrying the message until my time is up. Since I will not have decades to make a difference, I will get to work for you on day one. And I can assure you, ladies and gentlemen, I may be considered a junior congressman, but I will not carry a junior voice. I am asking you for your vote. Thank you.